Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquee of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to uh, celebrate the morning message or celebrate today with a very, very interesting topic. Get, but don't want. You, you know, sometimes, you know, um, you, you'd... you'd you might see something that looks so nice and then you, 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 you go and buy it and then after you buy it, then you sit down and then you look at yourself and you say, what did I, what did I just get? What did I just get? <laughs> Isn't it interesting? In 2 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14, in 2 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14, you know, 2 Samuel chapter 13, the, the preceding verses talked about uh, two people. One was called Amon. Amnon and the other one was called Tamar, and both of them were children of uh, of, of David, um, it, even though they were step uh, uh, step siblings. Now here's here's the interesting thing. Now the Bible said Amnon fell in love with Tamar, and he was like poor, and, and he even got love struck and love sick, and he was it was so bad that he desired Tamar so badly. That, I mean, he just couldn't do anything about it. And his friend called Jonadab, that is the father of lies, <laughs> you know. Uh, Jonadab then came around and then Jonadab told him that, look, this one is very easy. Trick the girl and then sleep with her. And, uh, and finally, Amnon managed to get Tamar uh, in bed and then he raped her. Yeah, I mean, rape didn't start now. And then after he had raped her, the Bible said, now that he finished with her, then he did something that's very curious. He took Tama and threw her out of his door. And then the Bible captured it and said, he, he treated her despicably. He treated her with hatred. And the Bible says something. And the hatred with which he hated her was more than the love with which he loved her. Hmm. He got what he wanted, but he didn't want what he got. How many times? We, we, we rush for things. And, and we go after things. And then when, well, finally when we get it, there's no taste of victory in our mouth. The taste of victory becomes sour. And then we say, after all, I didn't gain anything with this. Why don't we just examine and look carefully at the choices that we have to make before we go ahead and make them? Why don't we pause and ponder a little bit about what we say we want, what we say we want. Said that after we get it, we can celebrate it. But right now, Amnon has got Tama. Raped her. So the, she, she, in fact, she was just an object of his lustful desires. And she wasn't an object of love. She was an object of his loins. And she was not an object of his heart and after he got that he didn't want it anymore how many times have you seen people been young ladies being maltreated and how many times haven't you seen young men being also maltreated because they got what they wanted and they realize and then you suddenly realize that it was not you I'm sorry to say Amon's aim and vision was the panties of Tama and nothing else. He wanted her in bed but he didn't want her heart. Before we, 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 we make those choices and when desire is so strong and when we, we are, I mean, being forced like I need to get, I need to get, I need to get it. Can you sit down for a little while and ponder? And ask yourself, is this what I really want? And when you find out that that's not what you want, don't go for it. Because in the end, 
You might get what you want, but you will not want what you get. Get or not to want. See you later.